Hey everyone, this is Jeff with Creative IT Resources. We've just completed the installation of SQL Server 2012 Standard Edition. We have just a couple other items that we need to finish this up. We need to make sure we can communicate via TCP IP, and we also need to make sure the firewall has ports opened up so we can com connect remotely. Here on the right, I've got port numbers and their description, just for your reference and mine. However, we'll ignore those in just a moment, and let's go into SQL Server and make sure we can communicate via TCP IP. So click Start, All Programs, Microsoft SQL Server 2012, Configuration Tools, SQL Server Con Configuration Manager. We're only concerned about one item in here, and that's SQL Server Network Configuration. We want to look at its protocols and ensure that TCP IP is enabled. If it's not, right-click it and click Enable. However, if you have multiple IP addresses on your server, you might want to only listen at one of them. By default, it listens to all of them. As you can see here, Listen to All is selected as Yes. If you want to filter your IP addresses and only listen to a particular one, in here you would enable the respective one, for example, let's say IP1, and then disable the rest. Next, we want to look at Windows Firewall. Click Start, Control Panel, Windows Firewall, Advanced Settings. Here, we're going to set inbound rules to allow remote connections. To do that, for each of the six, we're going to add a new rule, Port, And the first one is port number 135. We want to ensure TCP IP is selected. Allow connections. We only want to use domain and private networks. And let's give it a description. There we are. That's the first one. I'm going to enter in the next five and we'll catch you as soon as I'm done. Okay, I've added the remaining five. Let's take a look at them and make sure they're all correct. So the profile we want to make sure is domain and private. They're all enabled. And we have all our ports. That's it. This should allow you to have remote connections say for example from another computer using SQL Server Management Studio is a good example. As soon as you have these, you're good to go. Thanks a bunch for watching everyone.